Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, Plan Aloud. And today I am going to be doing two things in this one video. I will not only be creating my scrapbooking page pages for Go Wild, but I will also be explaining my experience of Go Wild as well. If you didn't know, my name is Amber and I did go to Go Wild this year and of course had a wonderful time and there were lots of highs a little bit of lows and I'll just give you like my my ultimate feedback of why you should or should not go to go wild and all that jazz sorry it's not a face-to-face -face video if you haven't watched my video or if you have my video files were corrupted several different times when I attempted to film this so with that being said let's get started first of all i've already pre-cut my paper i cut three of them i may not use all three i might only use two it just really depends but this is paper that i just got at michael's it's lightweight cardstock so it's almost like a regular sheet of paper it's just a little bit firmer so i'm going to set two of them to the side and let's work on this first page so this is just gonna be like my intro page it's normally what I do I have tons of items from wonderful people from go wild all these like wonderful contact cards so I'm gonna use a lot of these on these scrapbooking pages and like just like fun stickers that I got from so many people I even printed out some photos these are not the best photos I just got this like Kodak something and when I printed regular without so much purple they came out fine like these ones came out pretty decent but then when I printed anything that had like a lot of purple in it it came out really weird and wonky but the ones that didn't have tons of purple in it they came out good like this one of course could have been lightened up but like this it came out horrible so it is what it is what it is i'm not gonna complain i just pulled out tons of these contact cards and things just sorry if that is glaring and so i will be using tons of these things in this and hopefully it will come out great i also will be using pearly black and white to kind of offset all this purple and pink I also have this kit that I purchased from Little Red Balloon Ink along with I'll, um, I did already write some things out that I want to use on this first page I definitely want to use this I don't know if I want to use this or this like this one's so stinging cute Maybe I'll use this one. I mean, these girls are just like so cow ready. And these girls are just cute. This girl's under boob is hanging out. Like, <laughs> okay, I, whatever. But I think that would be cute. Like maybe like that and set it with some different colors and then I could write or I could put num the numbers down here of when I actually went, that would be cool. I could also do that with this one or I could put it in like a later later spread or later in the spread I'm not sure excuse my voice I feel like I've been talking to so many people so much guys you guys have no clue how insane my life is right now I honestly feel like I'm living kind of in a movie kind of a nightmare kind of in a what's going on all I gotta say is family is crazy. You gotta love them, but they're still crazy and they drive you up the wall. I'm also a little bit overwhelmed by this whole thing right now. So I think I'm gonna start off with, let's see, which one should I start off with? Maybe these ones because they like, the colors really match and these colors really match this. Okay, perfect made the decision I wish this didn't say wild notes but whatever let's put down 
some funnel washing. I don't think it's going to fit across the entire bottom, but that's okay. I just want to put it down. I want to make it fun and it's scrapbooking, so I don't want to make it perfect, you know? So, Go Wild, in my opinion, was perfect. Yes, there were some ugly things that happened. And I know some people can be hurt by those things. But at the end of the day, you are in charge of your feelings. And you have to be the one to say, I'm going to allow this person to make me feel this way or not and I paid way too much money and I altered so many things in my life that week that I just went in with the best attitude I possibly could and I went by myself I don't really Instagram I don't really Facebook I don't really do any of those things so it wasn't like I was gonna go and meet like tons of internet friends it wasn't that kind of situation for me, to be perfectly honest. I wanted to go wild to actually meet people, which I did, and I am incredibly thankful for. There were some people that I met that from online, like um, the ladies from the Creating in Chaos um, podcast. I met them on the very first day of like actual conference and that was awesome and i also met like mojo jojo plans and amber plans her day because i watched their their youtube videos and um i believe her name is d plans like i met her i met stephanie fleming it was actually my second time meeting her and i met amy tangerine so these are not like like people that have become my friends these are people that I you know admire or enjoy their videos or enjoy their products or you know their style or whatever it is so that is why I was you know drawn to them so I'm gonna put that like that because I think that's super cute and I'm just gonna use my Tombow mono adhesive to tack it down And, like, the very first day I got there, I was incredibly overwhelmed, like I said, because I went by myself. And literally any and everybody I talked to was incredibly nice. Everybody was helpful because I didn't know what was going on. And that was, like, reassuring. I mean, honestly, I feel like my trip could have been better and that's only because it started off a little bit rough like if you didn't know i bought my ticket exactly a week before go wild started so they have these lanyards and i never got my like lanyard id and that made me feel like some kind of way because you know it you know like as a little kid and even as adult because clearly i'm an adult having a feeling of being left out like everybody had their lanyard and their name and people were like snapping pictures of people's names so that they could follow them on instagram or whatnot but i couldn't do that because i never got it and they never remade mine i should probably get in contact with them to see if they can you know remake it you know at the end of the day am i going to complain that much about having my name on a little thing no absolutely not all oh, these stars i thought these hearts were available to take off maybe i'll cut them off because i think this is so cute it says best day ever and this is by at little red balloon ink that's Lindsay. that's who i bought my kit from i met her there and she is from canada and her stickers are amazing and she was the sweetest and she brought me chocolates from Canada. Yes, they were delicious. I thought that was really sweet. I don't know if I want to use a box this size or if I want to use a bigger box because I want to use a box to 
right the dates that go wild was you know and I think I'm gonna I want to put down a quote or something you had me at planners oh my gosh that's so cute what happens at go wild stays at go wild yes let's use that and let me see what shop this is from kiddo bits is that one? yeah it's called kiddo bits and I don't know if this is a um, small shop or I don't know if everything says kiddo bits on it so if you like it that's where you go so I'm gonna use those but I just need to find a little box I'm gonna see if I can find it on one of these so that I can write the dates of Go Wild. Let me see what I have in here that I can use. Little box. Oh, I do have this light purple, or I could use this pink. I think I like this pink, but we will absolutely make do. it down here but maybe I'll put it up here I actually like it up here and then I can put like some fun things down and I really like this what happens at go wild stays at go wild so yeah so my first day everything was good I met lots of people that's actually on the very first day, you got there, you registered, went to your room, you did all the things, and then they had a, a welcoming party. And that was thrown by Chrissy Ann Designs. And, you know, there's karaoke and there's drinks and cupcakes, I believe. And that's where I found my crew for the weekend. And that was really nice. So we watched the people do karaoke and we danced and, you know, I ended up we ended up going up to our rooms early because it got really cold yes I'm from SoCal yes it's March yes you know it does get a little bit chilly here it's not always sunshine that happened you know it was really windy that day for some odd reason <laughs> but yes that was nice also by Jenny Penny plans I'm gonna just somebody's out there skirting hard in their car I'm gonna just put some of this planner stuff down you know just make this front page like super cute put this here so the very first day was just like pretty easy granted I was still pretty nervous about you know still not going with anybody and just like meeting new people there but you know it worked out for me like I know that's not always the case for everybody but I feel like that is because I went in with a positive attitude I told myself I was going to have a good time like I didn't give myself an option to not have a good time like I was gonna have a good time okay anything else nerd girl that's so cute i don't want to put go wild because go wild is already on there twice um oh it's becky jenny penny plans is the one who created this contact card and becky is the person who handed it out to me she is one of the girls i hung out with for the weekend and it was nice and we have a group chat that we're still staying in contact with and I think that is so cool. Let's put this one down here. Like right here. Cute. Maybe I should use this cute little purple polish. I mean, guys, I took fingernail polish with me. I thought I was going to paint my nails. I was tripping. I was tired. I never got to any of that. Okay, so... That is going to be my cover page. I think it's super cute. So the second, the first day, like first day of conferences, 
everybody was like really amped of course and the line started to form I guess really early in the morning they told me to come down and meet them like the ladies that I was hanging out with to meet them at you know like 5 30 in the morning I was like 5 30 it doesn't open until 8 but that's because these were the sponsor tables that were going to be available and I was just like I just want to sit at one person's table. I did not have, you know, a clue anybody else's table I wanted to sit at or anything. So I was just like, I got to sit at that person's table. Otherwise, I'm probably going to be in a stinky mood. Let's just be honest. I'm going to just pull this all the way out because there is only one sticker on here that I have not used. I think I'm also going to write a lineup for the day for each day for the two days just so I can remember and like go back in my memory keeping so day one the line was really crazy and um I like I feel like most planners are introverts and I had to actually step away because my anxiety was like going through the roof like, if you know that about yourself and you want to go to Go Wild and big crowds overwhelm you and the room was burning hot because it was like in a hallway or it was like there was a room on the left hand side, there was a room on the right hand side and they're called ball rooms and then the inside was just like where everybody was standing so it was like, like the hallway but it wasn't really the hallway and it was burning up. I somebody actually was overheating and they were like bringing her water and stuff like that so that was a little bit scary but she was okay if you ever go to wa go wild just plan for you know taking breaks you got to take breaks you got to know when you hit the wall you hit that limit you can't handle it it's not good for you okay so i think i'm gonna cut these because I, the first day was Stephanie Fleming and, I mean, Amy Tangerine spoke on the first day too, but I think I want to separate it because I want her to be separate because she was the first speaker. So when they finally opened the doors, like, it was like, it was literally a party when they opened the doors and it was so cool everybody had like these long like light up things and they were like blasting music and the lights were going and they like just let us in I might be able to insert the video right here hopefully I can and it was just really really cool and Guys, when I say I powered in, I powered in and I was like looking around, looking around, looking around, looking around because I just wanted to sit at Cindy's table. That's it. And I found it. There was lots of available seats. I was so excited that I got to sit at her table. Her table was right in the middle of the room. So I got to see everything like perfectly. It was amazing. So... Our very first speaker was Stephanie Fleming. She is the pre-owner of Happy Planner, if you didn't know, and she was awesome. Her speech was very uplifting, and this is what this is. Let's see. Should I use the stickers from Amber Plans Her Day, or there was... I do have this kit. I do want to do some, like, light layering. Let's actually use some of these. I'm just gonna put it down. And I wanna, oh yeah, that's nice. And yeah, I just thought her speech was really uplifting. It was a great opening speech. Just wrote out a couple things or a big quote that this is like her own personal quote that um, I wrote down I am unfortunately not gonna read it because it is very long but 
it was nice and I enjoyed it and that's literally all that matters at that point because you know when you go you know if you like look at for the speakers you know which speakers you want to listen to not listen to because of course you're going to listen to all of them but you know which ones you're going to be the most excited for and I was excited for her her um, talk and of course I was excited for Cindy's talk as well which I will talk about after I am done kind of designing this page just want to get these two down I feel like I should use another purple one because it's kind of getting washed out because it's like um, black and white on white let's see Oof. that was incredibly tough to get up that's not good okay let's how did I have it I think I had it over here because I kind of want to line this up over here like this I don't want it to be perfect there we go perfect and then I can put some fun stickers throughout and then let's do a black and white box I think this is perfect box to do right here and then I can layer this picture of me and Stephanie Fleming over here so oops oh gosh so, yeah, I got to meet Stephanie Fleming for the second time, and um, that was really cool, and after her, I mean, right after she spoke, that's cricket, right after she spoke, Cindy spoke, which you already know, I have already said it, this is, oh gosh, that's cricket can't keep doing this because this is like um, this is like permanent adhesive you know if it's cricket too bad I can't really do anything else okay there we go and then I'm gonna put a little header here in a second I'm not gonna do that yet but let's see, some decorative something. Wild notes, I should, I can use wild notes because I took notes. I think that will be fun. It would have been fun if I would have put it at the top, but that's okay. So after Stephanie Fleming spoke, Cindy spoke and Cindy's talk was what I call absolutely amazing. She just said it really resonated with me because we always try to like plan like this like perfect life, but it sometimes it's not perfect because we have things that just randomly come up and most of our days are filled with like a lot of mundane things that we can't just like kind of get away from you know like if you don't clean your kitchen probably daily it's going to be a hot mess so she had like three different categories and there was like the hard shit which is always like at the top of the list you got to get it done you can't really like run away from it you you got to deal with it you got to go through it and then there's the fun stuff and um that usually takes time and energy to plan and it usually gets pushed to the bottom of the list and then there's the mundane shit that and she actually says shit for all of them and that's the stuff that even though we don't necessarily enjoy it 
but we should find comfort in it because it's so part of it's like ingrained into you know our lives you know so i thought that was really cool it was very like the upbeat with stephanie and then with with um cindy it was very like the reality of of life they were very yin and yang and i really liked that i really 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 liked that so that that was cool um i think i'm gonna come back to decorating this page once i like get all the like meat on the, the pages <laughs> so um everything i'm putting down now is gonna be everything that cindy talked about but i'm still gonna move on through the first day of um go wild so after after that um we had like a little break and no 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 before the break there was um a comedian her name was chloe hillard and she was freaking amazing she was hilarious and i greatly appreciate her for her comedy and it was awesome i, think I wanted to rewrite this somewhere else so i might have to take some time to rewrite it because i don't think i rewrote it anywhere else okay so before we actually move on from chloe i did want to go back to cindy for a little bit i do have a picture of her with our whole table and that was awesome also i did do this on the socal i wrote out like the hard shit the awesome shit and the mundane shit and i did hear like after cindy spoke that i guess some people were offended by some of the things that she said because she has a potty mouth and a lot of people or some people didn't like it i i can't say you know who these people were or why they're so uptight about curse words or whatever but it is what it is and she is who she is and you know if you know if she's not their cup of tea that mm -hmm. is you know their prerogative i really like cindy <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell so uh, comedian who was hilarious i'm not picking it up and yes she was great and after the comedian we then break and it was put on by paper cloth happy hour energy break and they had like some food and some chips and some drinks and the things so that was nice and of course very appreciated i personally actually didn't eat any of that stuff because I actually went back to my room. I was like, oh, we got a half an hour. I went back to my room and ate. <laughs> I ate the food that I brought myself. I was like, I am hungry. So I am going to run to this room and get the things that I want. I actually am going to use these little flags. Um, Maybe I, gosh, I just don't know what I want to do, guys. I feel like I'm all over the freaking place. Should I put this at the bottom? This is, this whole page is probably going to just be Cindy. Because I have so many things on her. And then after that, we then had the Wild at Home panel, which consisted of Siobhan, Kane, Marquita, and Amy, like from Amy Tangerine. And they gave some really good advice on how to stay positive and productive and all the things. So that was nice. Like that panel was okay to me. Like it, it res resonated with me, but it wasn't, you know, above and beyond for me. Then we had another break and then we had planners and wine. And I honestly had never heard of this particular podcast. I was like, at this time, I'm going to definitely go take a break because I was so hungry. I was so tired i just want to put everything from cindy in order i didn't think that i was gonna honestly get anything from it but i honestly wish i would have stayed because i heard it was 
pretty dang awesome and I really wish that I wouldn't have had missed that. That's like my one thing is if you go to not only just Walk Wild Wild but any planner conference actively like listen to all the the speakers because even if you feel like you're not going to gain something you could be potentially missing an opportunity to, for something to spark that joy or something in you and I feel like that's something that I missed and I wish 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 I hadn't missed it I just seen that it was going to be an hour and 15 minutes and I was like I don't want to be rude and walk out in the middle of it and that's like of all the things like I think that's like my one like regret is I wish I wouldn't have missed planners and wine but I now listen to their podcasts so I'm catching them all the time and I might become one of their patreons because because why not support it. and so that was that and then after that we had a good chunk um, of a break. So I went back to my room and I conked out, guys. I passed out for like three hours. I was so, so tired. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing here, guys. The paper that Lindsay used for this kit is, it is nice, guys. I'm not a big kit person or anything like that, but I will definitely be buying some more kits from Miss Lindsay because this kit is nice and yes I cut I wrote this on a long like a long like sidebar from Mojo Jojo plans and I thought if I cut it like you know it wouldn't be janky or anything but clearly your girl does not have it together and it's janky <laughs> and that's fine like this is literally for me to memory keep on that is incredibly crooked and I'm leaving it because I I just can't I literally can't this is the quote that Miss Cindy said and um, let's use these cute little um ooh, this clay paper is nice that's from Amber Plans Our Day put that back there Ooh, I like it and this is the quote I was saying earlier the main quote she was saying this is back to Cindy planning a life I love versus loving loving the life I plan so um, after you know the hard shit the the awesome shit and the mundane shit oh I didn't put that down let's go back to the kit mundane shit she said the secret to loving the life you plan is finding joy in the mundane shit so that was her like overall quote which i found is awesome and true right there was like a crop it was basically you came back and there was like somebody it was called Wild Crop, and I can't remember who was actually speaking, but she was using the mild liners, and I thought that was really cool, and she was just like showing all these cool different ways to use the mild liners, and how, where is it? Oh, there it is. I was looking for Amber Planzer Day little thing. Let's have the pink sticking out. Yeah, it was really cool, but it got like really overwhelming and chatty in there. And it was just, it was honestly way too much for me, if you ask me. I did not plan this page very well like I did the other page. I didn't want to really cover that up too much. Let me see if I can pull these up and scoot them over and like put them under here. And then I'll put the move the picture on this side. Okay, that came up pretty nice. Let me see. Maybe I can put this down here. This here. 
Like, I'm not one. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but I do want it to still look nice, you know? Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay. So, it was, it was fun. It was exciting. A lot of people at this time brought their planners and were working in their planners. I'm personally not that person. I work very well in, not necessarily in silence, but by myself and um, to soft music. This is not my best scrap booking page, but you want to know something? It is doing its job. These stickers by Amber Plans her day are really nice. I need to, and her lettering is awesome. I've I've been hesitant on buying some stuff, but I don't think so anymore. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go check out her shop and get me some stuff. I've been wanting one of her sticker books, so that would be pretty awesome, actually. So, that is my second page. So, I'm going to probably put Go Wild on this one, on the back of this one, for the crop. Because there were some things that I did at the crop, before the crop and after the crop, and I just want to put some of the pictures that I took at that time so I'm gonna cut this in half and after between like the speakers on the first day and the crop I got to meet the ladies of Spice Chaos which is Leanne and Caitlin and I took this cute little picture or I got this picture taken and it says celebrate your life and during the crop. I also um, met Amber from Amber Plans Our Day and Mojo Jojo Plans and also I believe it's D Plans It and Amy Tangerine and that's when I bought her book. So she just came out with this new book and it's specifically for like kids but anybody can use it. And it's just all these different cool crafting ways you can, you, you know, you can spend time with your kids and stuff, which I think is cool. What should I do here? What should I do for my decoration on this page? I only have one more strip of this. Oh, I do have this washi, simply gilded, which this is from so maybe I should use that I'm not sure I mean, but that would definitely jazz up this page okay I am going to fast forward this part so here it all is from the crop and everything and it's really cute and I really really like how I got to meet all these wonderful people so honestly didn't think that I would use all of these to be perfectly honest and the second day of events kicked off with another wild like kind of opening with the lights and the music and all these things and I can't remember exactly what the lady's name is if I remember it I'll I'll like write like type it up right here but she like started it off with like a dance party and we all danced and all this stuff and I believe I have video from that I might be able to in insert that as well don't hold me to that after that um, we had Christina from Plum Paper Talk and to me her talk was really good. Didn't like give me like the same oomph that I got from Cindy, but it it felt very genuine and you know very much from the heart. And to me, I can appreciate that. Even if I'm not getting like the full message, I could appreciate that. And the one thing that resonated with her talk was she said that it's 
essentially like don't quote me on the exact like phrasing of it it's better to do something than do it completely right so her thing is you know we, we're always trying to be perfect and do everything perfectly and be the best but like especially if you have kids your kids aren't going to remember that you didn't do the laundry or you didn't you know sweep the floor or, or you know whatever it was what they are going to remember are those sweet times that you spent with them or those sweet memories you made with your significant other your spouse you know that's what's going to be remembered not oh boy I didn't mow the lawn that day like, no <laughs> that's just not what we're going to remember you know so to me that was like you want to know something it's okay to it's basically okay to be imperfect and that I felt like that was really good coming off of what happened like if you guys have been hearing you guys probably already know the unfortunate drama from the night before I am not gonna rehash that here I I don't have time for people body shaming I don't have time for people saying racist comments I don't have time for you know any of that like it's just ugly and it's disgusting and I just would rather not you know maybe I could put some of this down I think this is a sticker I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that I do want to make sure that I use all of these though so I think I'm gonna just put this down here because I didn't really take notes or anything from the second day you know like I just didn't but I do have these I have a couple of pictures like these were the girls that I hung out with the whole time and this is at Planjama like these ones and then this was me finding my name on the the wild ones like they have it, it said wild ones on the wall and then it had everybody's name listed and then also that was from Planjama that was the one alcoholic beverage that I had the whole time <laughs> I'm gonna just cut this in half just to get it because this one's gonna kind of stay together because I don't really have any notes from this day, unfortunately. So I might just be throwing down a whole bunch of things. But I think I'm going to take the back of this and I'm just going to journal on it for like my own sake. So this is going to be basically my last page. I think I'm going to throw this here and then I'm going to journal around it. So I'll decorate this with you guys, but you guys won't be seeing the journaling part because yeah. But I do want to use up this whole kit. So then after her talk, which was really good, we had a a mini break and then we had a planner therapy with Ashley um, she's the founder of Cloth and Paper and Aisha and Pasha Ward. I'm assuming that she works with, they work with Ashley on the planner therapy and helping people find a planner system is going to work best for them. So I found that incredibly helpful. That's not something I need because I've been a paper planner forever. <laughs> And if you're a paper planner, you'll probably feel the same way. But, you know, like, I'm trying to bring one of my best friends to the paper side, guys. So, that's somebody who would need planner therapy or somebody who just graduated from college or high school and moving into their next phase of life or somebody who just had a baby or a change of job or something like that. Like, that. that's what I feel like planner therapy would really be for. So, then, after that, we had another break like a little break these were like when I say a break it was like a 15 minute break unless I, unless I say it's like the energy break then it was a full like half an hour and then we had a dancer her name is Am uh, Amanda LeCount and she is awesome if you're not following her you definitely should she is a plus size lady she's dancing her heart out and I think 
her dancing is pretty dang awesome i wish i could dance like that and you know every maybe i could write that on here as a quote um everybody is a dance body that's something i do remember her saying and i thought that was really sweet and really cute because you know everybody's body is a dance body you know it doesn't matter how big or small you are if you can move it you can groove it and she just gave like a really cool pep talk that was really insightful and then she danced for us and something really unfortunate happened at this like dance off she invited some people up and i was sitting kind of in the back so i don't really know exactly what happened all i know is somebody did get injured and what i heard is this person is um broke their ankle i'm i can't say if that actually happened but i feel so bad for that person they may have flown here or whatever and to come here and be up there and having a great time and for that to happen that is a bummer so whoever that is i hope that they're okay i hope that they are safe i hope that you know that didn't completely ruin you know their awesome trip what i think i'm gonna put that picture up here and i might put this one here like this i feel like i've slapped this one down and i need to move it i just don't want to cover up my my california you know and I gotta say, I can't remember this girl's name, but she, on the first night, I like went down, like when I took that break, um, when I said that I took that break when um, paper and wine were on, she was down there and she was telling me that she was not having a good time. And I just was trying to be encouraging to her. And you know, when I seen her again, at Plan Jama, she said she was having an awesome time. So I'm really, really happy that, you know, her her mood was boosted, you know. Maybe I should put this here and then I will put this picture here. She's super sweet and she lives super close to me. So we are gonna have planner dates and Maybe I should put this go wild down here. I think I'm going to do that. So we then had a other break put on by um, cloth and paper. And that was pretty good. But I went to my room and just ate some food that I brought because I did not want to be waiting in line waiting for some food. I just said I got my own. Let's go get it. So after that, we had um, basically like a planner trivial pursuit. And that was put on by Kristen from Chrissy Ann Designs. And I found that to be really fun and lively. And um, they made it very much like a family feud style. So that was fun. And um, yeah, that was very, very enjoyable. And then after that, we have that small 15 minute break. And then another lady named Allison Faulkner spoke. I actually really liked her. I'm into, you know, kind of, I'm not a yogi or anything like that. My husband is actually, but I do like meditate and I do do yoga and I do do those things. So that was basically like, that's how she kind of started us off by taking a deep breath in and re releasing it and all those things. So to me, these are things that I like normal, normally practice. So it wasn't a big deal to me to do that. But some people did get kind of emotional during that time. And, you know, they, they probably hadn't stopped and took any time for themselves to just stop, wait and breathe. And I think that's like super important. So 
that was cool and she just talked about you're already awesome the way you are you don't have to do anything else or like you don't have to do anything else you're already awesome it's basically we always have this kind of imposter syndrome going on and we don't think that we're good enough when we actually are so i thought that was cool i'm gonna put this is by mommy and me planners and these are like corner pieces so since i'm gonna just journal on this page i'm just gonna throw some of these down throw some down and oh and she has a shop shop www.sweetplans.com and get 35% off now code go wild Heidi wow her name is Heidi I'm gonna use all these cute little purple things in here but I'm gonna use them on this page because this is with my planner friends now these are planner friends that I got to make which I'm so excited about let's take this little luggage so after she spoke we had our keynote who was Alicia Silverstone and I know her talk I know her talk um rubbed people a little bit the wrong way I feel like I'm a little bit on her lifestyle like not a hundred percent but um, she really could not read the room unfortunately this is by Mary Harrier I don't know if she created these stickers herself but I am using them because they have some cute little planners and she has a wild liner instead of a mild liner think that's really funny so I want to use these but yeah um, I personally got some decent information from Alicia Silverstone um, I know a lot of people didn't especially since um, you know her if you guys don't know I like Alicia Silverstone is an activist that is who she is she is not going to change that but she could not read the room of you know people not living that life and she just oh no no some of her advice wasn't wasn't the best for everybody you know if she would have went to a vegan seminar or something like that then yes um but not about you know we're paper planners digital planners life planners you know we do all the things so it's kind of you know, i mean i liked her i know she's not everybody's cup of tea that's all i can that's literally all i can say i did like some of the things she was saying but like i said again that's because i'm kind of on that lifestyle path so with that being said we had our break and then oh my gosh this sticker is like really stuck and I can't separate it sometimes the cutting machines don't do the best jobs all right I got it up and this is by Jenny Penny plans um let's see I think I want to put these on this page because I don't have any little deco over here and let's get this like cute little girl and let's get this llama if I can and then we had plan jamma and you basically came in your jammies and it was put on by Happy Planner, and they had lots of food, and they had, um, oh, I don't want to put SoCal next to each other. That's kind of weird, you know? Um, 
Let's see. Let's put SoCal on this side. Yeah, because it doesn't say it anywhere. So let's do SoCal on this side. And then let's do some a llama. Let's do a llama on this page. And this cute little planner cat, I believe. And Planjama was awesome. I personally wasn't out there dancing and doing all the things like I did hear some people say why would you come and just sit well maybe because you're a you know wallflower you know you you ever think about that I don't know in my day I used to be out on the dance floor but now I like to people watch I'm a huge people watcher and um that's basically what I did at Planjama, and I just sat and talked with a bunch of people and took pictures, and I just had a great time. Um, I came, I saw a plant, and I liked it. I'm going to put that on this page, and this is by Kiddo Bits. This paper is pff, superb, guys. It really is. I just want to give myself enough space to write and I'm gonna go into Mojo Jojo plans and I'm just gonna put some boxes down so that I could go back and do some overall journaling um, I did want to write those things out specifically from Stephanie and from um, Cindy though because those were the two people who you know gave me the most like oomph that made me feel the most besides um the Allison Faulkner I know a lot of people um said you know they were saying things but I I liked it so that's all that mattered but back to Plan Jamma they had tons of food they had open bar and they had decent music and they had like a guy in a light up outfit and um they had like a light up dance floor they had like all the things guys they really really did happy planner really did go out all out for our last night there and everything so i know everybody wants to know about the swag yes lots of swag lots of things you see everything i'm using here is basically my mojo jojo plans book just came apart i'm very annoyed but it's okay there's worse things that happen and um yeah i'm basically decorating all my plans or my pages with with like people's contact cards so i got tons of contact cards so i was able to use a lot of those things like you see on this particular page or or these pages and i really am completely in awe of all the the swag that i got complete like completely honest um but let me say this so here are my hot takes from from my experience Ex Especially as somebody who went by themselves very first time. I would advise that if you're somebody like me, like it would have been nice to have a room, like share a room with somebody, but I wasn't on like the planner floor. I didn't share my room with anybody. And for me as an introvert, that was perfect i think if this is something you want to do this is a really good way to kind of escape from everything and you know i could have went out and you know talked to the people and all that stuff but for me that was perfect also um like hmm let me see there is this thing called the go wild hangover it's 100% true. I was tired for probably like five days. Like I heard other people say, 
they weren't, you know, they recovered after a couple days. I can't even say that I was tired for five days. I think I was tired for a whole week. I was wiped out, guys. Like, <laughs> keep your friends close, but your planners closer. That's pretty dang funny. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets their planner. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, I would say if you could take a couple days off of work, definitely do that. If you're somebody who does not have to work, you're very lucky. Let's see. I completely forgot about this page with Stephanie, and I said that I was going to come back and decorate it, which I am now back to decorating, and... I don't have very many things to decorate it with. So this was all made by the same person. Or this, I wonder who made their cards. They're the exact same. Okay, so I will use some of these cute little llamas. Ooh, let me see. So this is where I'm keeping all my like contact cards and everything. Somebody gave me this thing that has all these little llamas. Let me see if I can find it and potentially use a llama if there's one that matches. I don't think there's one that will, but I was just hoping. So what else are my hot takes? Maybe some of these llamas will be good. Can't remember who I got that from, but yes. I'm trying to see the... Some of these were cute, but they didn't quite match. Okay, let's take those out, those stickers. Okay, so yeah, plan for that. Um, also, if you're on a budget, manage your budget. Like. I was very fortunate enough that I didn't have to really be concerned because I didn't have to take a flight. I didn't have to take Ubers. I didn't have to take lifts. I didn't have to do any of those things. Like my, I lived very, I lived very close to where the things happened, but I know for next time I will have to budget and plan for those things. Also be open to meeting new people. Be excited for it i personally feel from my experience i got the value of the 550 i got enough swag to last to last forever um if you're going just for swag don't do it it's a hundred percent not worth it just for swag you should definitely be going to gain some knowledge some inspiration to gain friends, to make connections, to do all the things. But if you're going just for some swag, take that money and just go to Michael's, small shops, you know, all the things. Do do those things. Ah, oh, I forgot, guys. I wanted to use some of this. Let me see if I can use it on this page. And it not look funky. Ooh, no, that looks good. I could tell before I even laid it down it was gonna be good. Just gonna kind of throw it down. I honestly, honestly don't think I need anything else on here. Maybe I could take some of this stuff off and throw some of this down. Like not take it off, but just like lift it. Let's. This sticker is so stinking cute. It's so thick. It's so good. I am very very happy with that. Um, what else are my hot takes? Um, even though I went by myself, if you ever go, and if you go by yourself, be, have an open mind. Be willing to put yourself out there. Just go for it, you know? I know that I can't, you can't, I can't say that for everybody, and sometimes it's like a social anxiety thing. I completely get that, because I have it, but because I know I could be socially awkward, I push myself. I push myself so hard. So that's like the best advice I can give you. And if it is just like way too overwhelming from you, for you, step away. It's okay. 
Um, I feel like I missed some things, but that's okay because I had to step away and do what was best for my state of mind, you know? So everybody knows their self and how comfortable they are and when the anxiety starts to roll in. So, yeah. And um, what else? I would say if I could say anything to the people that ran it, they really need to plan out meals better because there was some hangriness going on, especially on my part. Because imagine like you wake up so early so you could like be there, especially like the first day. And then um, when you get there, you know, everybody's in these lines and you're standing there and you've been there for hours and the breaks weren't long enough. The hangriness was coming in and um, anybody with any special dietary needs was not provided for. So luckily I was smart enough and I have been to enough events to know that I have to plan my meals. So that was another thing. But just like those are my only hot takes. Um, and my other thing is, which we should know as adults, if you got nothing nice to say, keep it to yourself. Period. Because it's not worth it. The consequences in the end are not worth it. Okay, so let me go through everything for you guys. I cannot believe I finally got this done. I planned for this for so long and I finally got it done and I'm pretty proud of myself because it usually takes me so long to plan for my scrapbooking pages. So with that being said, I am gonna show you everything that I used just in case you wanna go find these small shops and give them some love and that would be awesome. So I'm gonna put my planner pages to the side. We have shopslowplanning.com and they are on Facebook and Instagram at slowplanning. On Etsy, we have Little Red Balloon Inc. This is where I got part of my Go Wild kit. It was awesome. This is where I got a few stickers. Sorry for the iridescence. This is Kiddo Bits. And that's Kiddo, K-I-D-D-O, B-I-T-S. And I'm assuming you can find them on all socials under that. And Jenny Penny Plans actually made this. So this is not Biggie's art. And this is shop www.sweetplans.com and get 50% off with code gold wild heidi and every single word is capitalized and ran together and then this is etsy shop uh, and it's called sassy co and it's www um s a s o c o dot etsy dot com and her stickers are really nice and these are just from people and then she i believe is made this and this was a really cool sticker it was like I think it says planner friends make the best friends. It's that one right there. It's really nice. And her Instagram is at Missy Chrissa. At, at Missy Chris Aloha. So M I S S K R I S S A L O H A. I didn't use anything on there. I think this is just. Nope, this is Lindsay. She is awesome. And. Instagram is still a little red balloon ink and she also has a shop. This is her shop right here. Little red balloon ink. So good. 
And then Amber plans her day. Um, her stickers were incredibly nice. And if um, you type in Go Wild 22 for 15% off, and then if you scan it, you can find her everywhere. All of her stuff is Amber plans her day. Really good. And then these are from Jenny Penny Plans. She's everywhere. I use so much of her stuff. So there was that. And I hope that wasn't exhausting. And let's just flip through my pages. Cover page. Stephanie Fleming. Cindy. This was the wild crop. This was just like pictures from everything. And this is going to be my journaling page. Okay, guys. If you hung tight through this whole video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you like this video, you should definitely give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification so you'll be notified when I post content. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And remember to have 